for the we do for the red logo. It's gonna be yellow. <laughs> yeah, instead of orange, it's yellow. <laughs> oh. Are you, what? It's got it's got weird colors. Trust what trust the, hell is that? the oh, blender same. logo. <laughs> It's fucking sans eye. Yeah, he's <laughs> blender with sans. Yes, the blender logo with sans. Okay, so what you need to do is shut up. Follow Tom Tom. You gotta follow Tom. Okay, shut your face away to shut it with my tea poop. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, welcome to your beaded toilet of another dark school before I was ever used. Okay, so here's the blender on. interface. <laughs> you can see, you can see your, your up more, you can see your out more, you can see your exit, you can see your company more, you can see your tabloid here, you can see your photo of meaning stuff, you can see your <laughs> and I'm going to do this in circles. The cycles, because cycles is gone. <laughs> okay, so first off, what you want to do is you want to be able to click your thing. I don't know if you use the right click, but before we can change it to left click, you do no, use no, it. Okay, so when you click it and you select it, to be an outline. So when there's an outline, it means you select it. <laughs> so when you select it, you can press G, and then you can move it. And it will move at the plane for where you're looking for. If you want to move it in a line, then, then you can... If you Press Shift D, you duplicate the object, and then you press X, Y, Z, and you move in that axis, and then you will be locked along that axis, and you can do this to be precise as stuff. Now you can now press X, and then it will be deleted, and then it will be press Ctrl Z, press Ctrl Z, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this triangle over here is gonna add over no, like trying, another viewpoint. It's right here. <laughs> no, there's another viewpoint. I'm gonna open this up to the UV editor. Okay. Movie <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> editor. <laughs> <laughs> you, this, so, you didn't even spell editor. <laughs> that says editor. U V editor. This is U V editor. It's gonna look like a gray square on a gray square. This is like the other thing because, but this was cute. Okay, so we are going to edit mode. <laughs> 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 and you're gonna see the vertices. You're gonna see all the vertices. And then you can select it and then you can or uh, you can distort it. So we're gonna select this vertice in this back corner here and then move it a bit. So here we go. You're gonna you can press G to move it just like the other thing. So now it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're sculpting! <laughs> yeah, so that's how you edit vertices. You could also press <laughs> press R and then you can rotate it. You probably want to press X, Y, or Z to rotate along an axis. So here we go. We're gonna rotate this whole face here. I select the, these four vertices and <laughs> rotate them. <laughs> By pressing R, and then I'm gonna show you how to <laughs> scale the whole thing. You press S to scale, and then it becomes smaller. But you can also like do the different. And that's a cute now. If you wanna do textures, <laughs> if you wanna go with. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the place 
turn. You're gonna click the the one that looks like a circle. It's actually like it's it's, it's like a checker ball. So <laughs> oh, like oh what? This is the the smash board. Two <laughs> tails bar. Now you have the materials to load, and then you're gonna have you're not gonna have some options here. You're gonna have a bunch of materials. See this one material right here. It's applied to my object. And then we're gonna we're gonna here. I'm gonna add those because I like I said I'm in cycles. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna use those. Put some water here, it's gonna change, and you're gonna have a big old ball here. <laughs> yeah. like okay, so it looks something oh, like it. this. Now so we're gonna go into the like, contributions to the node oh, editor. Click, click, what is that? <laughs> This node editor, then you're gonna see some things here. So you're gonna see like this this thing right here. This you, you have your you have your boxes, and then you gotta drag them, and then right click, and then you select the other box. Green material input. And then you have your you, you probably have like a diffuse thing, and they're connected. So. You see, the, the top thing is going to be the surface. <laughs> we give you the fuse to connect to your surface. So if you look down here, there is an add button. You click it, and there's going to be some options. Like, you know, texture and <laughs> text. B S D F. Or something like that. You know, like, <laughs> you might want to use one of the different BSDS, but you generally want to use the material. You could use a glossy BSDF. So, you also want to check out the bar, this roughness, that's basically for not funny, is it? So, more of it just be rough. So, you can also add in a texture. If you add in a texture, then it will be like orange, you know, like, like the logo. So, you have an orange texture, the yellow bar, you click the add image, and then you can open the file viewer. So, let's see here. <laughs> that was, that was like the Wait, best that, tutorial I've ever had. So, you so can okay, look at your files, and oh, then... I'm gonna have this like censored here because it's like preferred for me. Friendly. Yeah. Uh, friendly. Okay, so I'm gonna click on these dots. I'm gonna find my image. Here it is. Okay. Now I'm gonna, it's gonna be in there. You can see the image name in the four. So I'm gonna connect that color to the to the color in the glossy or diffused or reflective. <laughs> Then we'll be showing off on here, but not exactly, you have to use the other first. So I'm gonna show you another thing. We're gonna go with you. There's a converter section. I can't read that. Then yeah, you can understand him? Color verb. You gotta grab one of your color and you bring it out of your field. And then for here, you have you have a gradient. Yeah, you have a gradient, gradient bar. <laughs> then you could uh, you have you can like edit the gradient, and then you can like connect the same color and put it to the material or whatever. For the output, you can put it to displacement instead, and that can make it 
Bounty. <laughs> what? Okay, so also, <laughs> okay, if you're not using an English texture, you would have to do the UV editing, because it will just automatically unvert the software. Because the UI will automatically unvert the best texture of a muscle for one way or another. Yeah, you will know, just do that, right? This kind of work is very useful with those general textures or even with English textures because then you can control the color through these or these especially if you make it so copies of the material. So, you need Where'd he go? I go? think Pop had a stroke and he oh, died! Oh, Jack, he's back! Oh, no! <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> 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 okay, so this is the first time we're going to go back into our UV editing. So, we're going to go ahead and go back to our UV editing. So we click the square here, and then just <laughs> <laughs> so go back to our square, so now we're going to see, we should still be in edit mode right here, so then, uh, so, so then you should see a bunch of dots in this here. So go here, you press the U button, you can, you can, you can press the unlock button. The thing that this is worth is this is due to a small thing here, right? And then we'll unlock your vertices. Like, something like this. Uh, then, if you change your vertices, okay, go to put Why does that fish have a human dick? What? What? <laughs> Wait, wait. Okay. Wait, so it's also like a giant. Okay, so. Wait, wait, wait. We have an image of something over here. You put the vertices and you have Yeah, you. <laughs> you, you got it. You got it. the vertices over because. You see what it's like? It's, 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 this, is a, this is a model on the map of the body. So you have a texture it. And then you place the verses, right? It'll show on here and you'll see it in real time. Like, let me show, you see, it'll show in real toy. <laughs> <laughs> new toy, wow. Yeah, that's how you get your new toy. You d new you toy just distorted a shit time. See, no, it's on your model. Then, the first thing oh. is to render it. So, you, you can press this using the button just like up here or something. I think it's called render. You click it, and then you can render. Or you can put, just press F4, that works too. So, the way you gotta have it is that it's gonna have it. It's gonna have it. Is that. So what's going to happen is that it's going to have you here in the UV editor as the rendered edge. And you also have a neat little progress bar here. Oh, uh, yeah, you don't have a progress bar here as well. What the fuck is that? <laughs> and you will show you from what the render is done. So we'll like show it in like little squares here. Little, little, little squares here. That will like appear as a red rig. Yeah, okay. Um, that's how you and do it. You all just oh, no. and eventually, your red rig will be done. It will look really cool. Oh. It will uh, be guys, like different I've been from recording this for 14 minutes. 14 minutes. The final thing. Okay, image. The last thing you want to do is you click the image for and you can Are save the image, image and then you can you can save the image onto here and <laughs> your files are back. <laughs> and then you can save whatever you want. Say what if I want to name this image uh PP. Okay. What? I'm gonna do the image. PP, and we're going to remove the image. 
There. And then there you go. You're done. Basically, you could do. All right, click. Now, now apply what you've learned from Tup today. I've learned way too much to handle. Then let's see. Let's see. What... See you all later. <laughs> <laughs> no.